What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. In case you're new, I'm Mark. And I'm Amanda. And we've been traveling for about five months. We've spent the last six weeks living in this van, but the last three months just living in a van. And I live in a van down by the river. So we also lived in a van during our time in New Zealand. And if you want to see what that van looked like, check out this video here. We loved living in a van so much that when we came to Australia, we decided we have to do it again. For us, that's just been the best way and the most economical. It just gives you the most freedom to kind of come and go as you please. We bought the van in Adelaide and we drove all the way up the East Coast and we are now in Cairns. And it is so hot. We have to take breaks so we can wipe the sweat off. So a lot of people are always asking us what the van looks like, how can we live in it, and so that's why we're gonna do this tour again. We want to show you guys where we've been living in Australia. So let's get with it. So this area, this back section, this is our living room <laughs> changing slash room. changing room slash den slash dining room slash TV room. TV room. <laughs> this is what we love though about this van that other vans don't have is this little bit of free space. So so you guys can see it. So I can almost stand up in here. So you guys want to see our tour? Underneath here, we've got storage. So this is where we keep all of our, well, mostly Amanda. <laughs> this is my soap and the rest is Amanda's kind of, I don't even know what's down there, girl stuff. Beauty products. And then up here we have our electronics and our books and our little plant. It's real. So one of my favorite things about this van is it has unlimited storage. We don't have enough stuff to put everywhere. But this is another storage area. This here is our second battery which is connected to solar panels on the roof. And then this is where we keep all of our shoes and the jerry can with extra diesel in case we ever run out. And since there's space right here, we put all of our jackets so they're easy to get to. Up here, we leave these little hangers in there so we can dry our towels and our bathing suits after we shower and swim. So those are really handy. Believe it or not, we can fit all of our clothes in this. This is my section. We share the socks and undies space and then this is Mark's section. We're still going with the storage space. We have this lovely compartment. We keep more like our toothbrush and fun stuff there. That's actually the Mavic box it guys, is. that's for the drone. More storage space, hats, caddies. Let's go ahead and talk about the bedroom. <laughs> this is another favorite of mine. We don't have to break down the bed every single day. I'm so thankful now that I could just get up, make the bed, and make the sheets, <laughs> and then um, get on with the day. We looked at quite a few vans here, and a lot of them didn't have windows in this area. So, like, this window and this window under here, a lot of vans didn't have those windows, and it felt like you were in a pedophile's van being <laughs> captured. So it was just really dark and gloomy. Yeah. So we really like that it has windows. It just lets more light in. And these windows are super tinted. So you can't see in them during the day. During the night, if we have the lights on, you can see right in here. So that's why we busted out our sewing skills. <laughs> we are such horrible sewers. Uh, I was better than you. Yeah. We bought sheets and we sewed on some Velcro. And these are homemade curtains. 
So we have the Velcro up here, and the Velcro sticks really great to the ceiling. If we want to take them down, we just pull, boom, they're down. Okay. And those work perfect. So another thing we noticed in the other vans we were looking at is the space between the bed and the roof were very small. So Mark wouldn't be able to sit up and who knows, I don't think I would be able to sit up either. This is awesome because we could just chill here, sit, yeah. relax. Next, let's go to the, the kitchen. kitchen. Amanda doesn't drive stick. So I base... Driving is my job, and so basically Amanda's job has then been she makes all the delicious sandwiches that we eat. <laughs> my space is behind the drivers, behind the steering wheel, and Amanda's space is right here. And I'm fine with that. So, there's an outlet. We did not have this in Mitzi. This shows the voltage for the battery from the solar panels. This is a cigarette lighter, 12 volt, and this is the cord to our fridge. And then we have a couple USBs right here so we can plug in our phone or we can use these lovely outlets. Show you. And you turn on the power. Inverter. The inverter. You can hear it. And then the switch. And there's the phone being charged. Ta da! We're getting solar panels yes. when we go back to the States. So awesome. This time we have a proper sink. It is a real pump and it's powered by the solar panels. And the pump is attached to three jugs. They're actually underneath the bed and they are about 70 liters. Whoa. Ah. And the water just goes down into this bucket. It's so simple, which I love. All we have to do is take this out, open the lid, and then dump it out. Now let's look at the fridge. Okay, so here's our fridge. We bought it at a pawn shop and it works perfect. But look, so this is perfect. It holds sandwich meat, almond milk, waters, and Red Bulls, all the important stuff. As we were saying earlier about all the storage space, here's some more space. So behind the fridge, these little tubs hold our pots, pans, plates. Tuna. Lots of tuna fish. <laughs> and then you can just see back here, these three jugs, that's all of our water supply. So the guy who designed this van that we bought it from did a really good job designing it. And so this is how you fill those jugs back there. It's really simple. It's just a quick little release. You hook this up to any kind of water fountain or spigot. You can find them at most campgrounds, even gas stations. And this right here will feed right back into the water pumps. So also down here, our good old backpacks. Uh, I dread when we had to start carrying those around again. <laughs> and we still have more space back there. We really haven't used it all. In case we don't feel like chilling out in the back because it's too hot, we've got some other options. Boom. We got a couple of nice little lawn chairs. Take in the view. Drink our caffeinated iced coffees. Chocolate milk. Okay, in the last part of the kitchen, which we actually haven't used that much on this trip, we used to use this all the time in New Zealand, is our oven. It's just another propane tank, little burner. But it's so hot here that we really haven't wanted any hot meal. So we've been eating mostly sandwiches and lots of potato chips, Sour Patch Kids, <laughs> broccoli and hummus, but not cooking a whole lot. So that was the kitchen. We'll move over to the front seat. The very last part, probably the least fun part. Least fun for you. Yeah, fun Amanda's always I passed just... out. <laughs> so it's nice, we do have air conditioning, CD player with the auxiliary so we don't have to listen to the radio. And then we have a little bucket down here with the essentials, waters, snacks, maps. With this van, unlike the other van we had, you can actually recline it a bit which I don't do too much because I feel bad when Mark's driving. <laughs> I don't like to The sleep. fact that she knows it reclines, <laughs> passing so out. be a little more comfortable. <laughs> so that's nice too. In this van, as you notice, we don't have a toilet, but the good thing about Australia, as in New Zealand, um, there are to public toilets everywhere. And one thing that Australia does do a little better than New Zealand is public showers. 
There are so many public free showers out there in strange places occasionally, like shopping malls. There's Amanda went showered and then walked five feet away and got a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All in the same shopping center. So <laughs> um, it's not it was, that hard to find bathrooms and showers. Not at all. It's so much easier here than it was in New Zealand, actually. Okay, guys. So that's it. That's camper van number two. We call her Bay. I'm not sure how we came up with Bay. <laughs> hey, Bay, Bay. <laughs> it like evolved. Bay has been great to us, and we're so sad to see her go. We will be leaving Australia in a couple weeks, headed to the Philippines, so we have to, we have to let her go. So what we're going to do though in the future is we're going to make some videos for you guys, for anyone who is going to be traveling and is interested in a camper van. We'll just go over the process, our experiences with purchasing and selling, um, what we did, where we found the vans, what we looked for, yep. because some of it can kind of be confusing and after doing it twice in two different countries you know there's still things that we don't know but we have some knowledge and we'd yeah. like to share if you guys have any questions at all let us know in the comments below or feel free to send us an email or even contact us on instagram thank you very much for watching this video especially if you made it all the way to the end <laughs> because sometimes i know the struggle is hard to do it <laughs> struggle but is real the struggle is real that too. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go back to enjoying this beautiful view over cans and continue sweating all over our clothes. It's so hot and so beautiful. Check back for more videos because we have so much stuff to share, lots of cool stuff, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. See ya. I was gonna give you the high five. How back. <laughs> Pound it. Beasties? Beasties. If you watch this video, you are now a beastie. A beastly, beastie beauty. See ya. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.